In this video, I'll guide you how to deploy your project on a server so you can get a link that you can share with your family friends and then you can, if you have a domain name, then you can link that domain name with your project where you have deployed it so you can actually have now your official domain name and your whenever you write that domain name, it can actually open your actual real project in front of you. This is going to be an absolutely beginner friendly tutorial. So if you have no idea what are servers, if you have no idea how to deploy your projects, if you have no idea about any of these terminals doesn't matter because I am actually going to give you the easiest method to deploy your project and most importantly you don't need to buy anything to deploy your project again this project is for absolutely beginners so I'll just try to make sure it is as simple as it can be before we start please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel right now we are at 1850 subscribers and our goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year so please help me to reach there all right let's get back to our tutorial so we are actually going to use versal.com to deploy our project what is versal you might have heard about that versal, versal is actually a serverless platform a serverless solution to deploy our projects this is the most easiest way to deploy our projects because traditionally we use something like aws we use something like vps servers or maybe shared hosting and those kind of stuff and sometimes it can be like very overwhelming to set up uh, and like to set up your deployment setup or to, to set up like your your cloud architecture so you do you need like an extra kind of a lot of skills to deploy uh, your project or you need to hire someone who is expert in in deploying your project on aws or maybe s3 bucket or, or like uh, the, that kind of stuff so because this tutorial is absolutely for beginners and this is the quickest and easiest and absolutely free way to deploy your project so there is a pricing for that there is a, a hobby uh, uh, package for you so un until i think uh, 10000 visits on your website you won't be charged anything you can like uh, like get this uh, uh, hobby package uh, and if you're if you start growing your project uh, like your traffic and if you start getting like a lot of traffic i think it's 2 million maybe uh, on 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 versal I, I didn't actually check that uh, let me just check that um, so if you compare their packages their free version has how much traffic i think they they allow like uh, quite a lot of traffic on on free version and then uh, yeah here it is hobby on hobby version uh, 100000 so uh, you can have uh, 100000 invocations per month and you get 100 gbs per hour per month included and then uh, like you can have 500000 execution this is good enough to like for you to like start and for you to like just um, like 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 set up your project so uh i have upgraded to uh, this version because i have like uh, hosted quite a lot of lot of project but to, to be honest i i didn't need to do that but i have just like uh, like done that so anyways all right so what you need to do is you just need to sign up for this there is no credit card record for it so you simply just need to uh sign up for that and you can just simply like choose these uh like hobby and then add your name this is a simple sign up process uh, i have already signed up so i won't do that but this is a simple sign up process there is no complications imagine just like you're creating a new gmail account so this is just a simple sign up process once you have done that you can simply just log in here so once you're logged in here and uh, like once you're on this login page what you need to do you need to just simply sign in you can either sign in with your uh, like uh, you clicking here and then uh, add your email address and then it will just like uh, log in using your email or uh, what i do I, I sign in with github usually so what is github i i have created an entire web uh, like tutorial for your for you to like uh, uh, push your code on github GitHub and like a detailed introduction about GitHub, so you can just watch uh, in in the, in the description. Uh, because to deploy your project on Versal, you will need to uh, host your project on GitHub. So please just watch that video. Uh, that is very important to uh, publish your project on GitHub. So that is again very simple, very basic uh, uh, guideline. But do watch that uh, because if you, if you don't know what is GitHub and how to do that, it it is actually very detailed step by step video for that. So you just need to like. Uh, push your code on github and i have already pushed that uh, my code so my code is right now uh, in here on uh, on github so this is where, where where actually i'm going to push this so please do not think that uh, i have missed this step because i have created a complete separate video for that that what is github and entire introduction to github so for all of you who uh, who haven't watched that video you can simply just watch that and then you can just carry on from here all right so once you're there uh, what you need to do um, you can simply just get, get back to your project let's just test our project first so to test our project you can simply just run npm run 
run dev simply just run our project and let's just see uh, what do we have in our project what our project is looking like so let me, I'm, I'm here this is just a simple basic uh, project management app that I'm just like working on now so simply what you have to do I have created a basic sign in which is a demo um, username and demo, pa demo password yeah, I can just like sign in here and then I'm inside my uh, my dashboard and then I can add any task that I want and then that's it perfect so uh, this is our basic functional project that we have got that we built inside cursor using cursor AI agent and now it's time to deploy it. So how we can deploy it before you deploy it make sure your project is pushed on github this is very very important step because uh, uh versal actually directly loads your project from github so that is very very important so what you need to do you can you can just come to your uh versal dashboard in here and you can just like see this uh, interface in here so just simply click on add new option over here and then simply click on project so once you do that because you logged in with github so versal will actually synchronize with your github repository uh, like with, with your github dashboard and uh, fetch all of the github uh, projects that you have pushed so far on github so my latest push was actually this project management tool that i uh, that this is the same tool that actually i shared in that uh, github uh, tutorial so this is the same project so this is this tutorial is actually just continuation of that github tutorial so i'm just like uh, resuming that so if you watch that before and then watch this tutorial that will actually make a lot more sense to you but there is nothing like there is no other extra step that i'm missing here so what you need to do you can simply just make sure that you are choosing the right uh, project here then simply just click on import button just simply click on import button and then name your project i right now i can just like uh, name it uh, project management just name your project anything that you want and then simply just click on deploy so it might ask you for environment variables because we do have some environment variables in here but let's just do that uh, later on so these are the environment variables what are environment variables we use environment variables to uh like have some sort of like uh uh to have api keys and and and, and that stuff but uh i'm actually i had like built a basic authentication system and then i had this like a uh, link of my uh url so because i was testing it locally so i added it here hopefully we won't, we won't need environment variables but if you need we'll just add it here so all right so i'll just click on my deploy button here and what it will do it will just take a couple of minutes and then it will deploy my project if there will be any errors i will just like then get back to cursor if there's any error in my code so you can see there is a there's an error in my code which is uh it is showing this right now so this is an error in my code so this error i'll just copy this error as it is simply just copy that it's good that it was intentional that uh there are errors in in, in my code because uh this way uh, you'll actually face um, errors whenever you'll uh, push your code on on or like whenever you try to deploy it so let's just try to solve our error uh, so i am trying to get back to our cursor agent and then say to push my code to deploy my code deploy my project on versal during deployment I have got these errors. Please fix it. That's it. Simply just do that. And all right. Now it will that is incurring because of dependency conflict between React 19. Alright, so perfect and next auth let's fix this by updating so error was because there was a dependency conflict be between react 19 and the uh, another dependency that we're using which is our next authentication uh, for login system i'll make a separate tutorial that how to add an authentication system into your project so all right it is just uh, what cursor is right now trying to do is uh, trying to just delete uh, this from here so I've, i think we'll have to do it by manually Let's try PowerShell. Okay, perfect. Let's, I think that this one will work because we are not using Mac. These errors are for Mac, MKDIR. So, all right. So we have just removed. We are going to just like remove our dependency folder and then reinstall that. Uh, all of the dependencies again. So you you will you will uh, face some errors if you are using 
uh, like some sort of dependencies you can see it has removed node modules folder from here and it has uh, removed package lock.json folder from here now what it will do it will actually in reinstall these dependencies again so all right let's update the package package.json again yeah, the cursor AI agent, uh, the cursor composer agent is, is is really really helpful. Otherwise, I could like spend 15-20 minutes to just like uh, remove it manually, then run all of those commands. So it could take me a lot more time. So cursor AI agent just like does all that magic for me. But I need to see that what's going on inside cursor because if I don't know what's going on inside my, inside my code, I'll face like a lot of difficulties when I'll be uh, like updating my code in future or when I'll be like explaining my code to my customer or my teammate. So it'll be difficult for me. So that's why you need to understand what you are doing inside cursor. So anyways, so it is just now fixing like this dependency issue. So again, uh, if you if you don't have, if your project is very simple or basic, so you will not face any dependency issues. You your project will like uh, deploy in one go. But uh, I think this is very helpful for everyone that anyone who faced any errors, just copy your uh, error log from here. This one, all of these are actually errors. So you just need to like copy it from here, and then um, it has now made uh, the uh, the things. Let's just try to run our project locally. Just uh, run it here, and see if there is a Okay, so I can finish so just for next one. So please replace uh, file with next one. Yes. All right. So it's I think node version. Okay. I'm having this error. When I run npm run dev. Perfect. So once we because now we have actually made some changings in our code what do we need to do we need to push this code again on github so uh if you don't know how to push that i'll actually uh, again uh, just watch that video uh, on um, on youtube uh, on, on my channel and um, i have these commands written for you i'll just add these commands over here you can just like copy these commands and then run these commands here as soon as your changings are done i'll just guide you uh, just uh, like hold on don't worry about the anything i'm here and even like if you even whenever you leave a comment i just uh like all right 1851 please just do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel our goal is to reach 10,000. so let's hope that we reach there all right cool so i think all of the changes are done let's just try to run our project again so all right there is a port conflict uh so that's fine i think the project was already running all right our project is working fine now so what we need to do we need to just uh right now publish our like uh, push our code on github once again so we can do you can just, just simply just run these three commands again and then it will push your code on to uh, github in here so we can just get back to our server uh let me just stop my server here i think it's stopped already so what i need to do i need to just like then uh, like run these commands one by one get add i think it won't uh, add anything because everything is up to date there was not significant uh, any significant change in that so it will just uh, yeah uh, everything is, is uh, like uh, updated on there so uh, because it just like did some changings in um, in in environment variables but uh, it should be fine uh, now so what we need to do as soon as you update your code on github in here it will automatically upload update everything on versal so let me just see let me just yeah i think it's, it's deployed already yeah it has deployed deployed already so the project is already deployed if we now let me just run it and then we'll try to make another changes to then see if, if it is uh, it has up, uh, like made any updates inside project or not so let me just copy this link and then let me just come here and paste this link in here and yeah uh, our project is deployed let just click my password is demo username is demo password is demo all right cool i'll just copy this and then next i'll just yeah so i'm inside my dashboard i can simply just add a new project here so you can see our project is deployed onto onto versal without any problem i'll just click on create and my project is functional i can simply just create to-do list and my project is functional perfect awesome my project is functional let's just try to make some changes you now in, in our code and then try to deploy it again uh, so uh, i think uh, you missed one part where it, it was actually redeploying that project so my video was paused for a minute so i think you missed that part so but or let's just um, deploy our project once again so uh, please make please enhance the design of our dashboard 
So let's just try to make some design enhancement and then try to uh, deploy our project once again. And then I'll actually guide you uh, that how you can. Now our project is in production now. Basically, I'm guiding that if you during production, if your project is in production and now you have to push any new changings into your project, how seamless it is from Versal that your project is live. You don't need to do anything. All, all you have to do, just push your code on Versal and then it will just like uh, automatically redeploy it. And I mean, it, it makes our life so easy. You have no idea how much how much easy it uh, like gets if, if you're not using like something like Versal. So then it takes like ages and ages to uh, like get back to your uh, cloud guy. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually going to create a separate video for that as well. Don't worry about that. So I'm actually going to create a separate video how you can deploy your project on AWS, uh, the maybe S3 bucket or uh, then uh, how you can deploy your code on uh, on, on VPS. So I have like uh, uh, some VPS servers that I use to host most of my websites. So I'll guide you with that. By the way, I have like around uh, 450 websites that I'm managing right now. So I have like VPS servers with a uh, lot more like space. So yeah, it was unnecessary to mention in tutorial, but I just did that because uh, this is taking just a bit more long to create this code. Anyways, so let's just do that let's just keep accepting everything because it's just like a design changings so all right cool so it has these made these changings we don't need to know what these changings are or if we need to know that how seamless it is so right now uh, our project it has made changings locally on our project in here but these changings are not yet pushed on github so that's why these changes will not apply on github so what you need to do you need to simply just uh, make sure that as soon as it has finished its uh, task completed and then now what you need to do you need to just run these three commands uh, into github come here uh, sorry into your uh, pro project come here and then uh, run this command oh sorry hold up updated design just do that and now it has uh, updated these files and then next step is just run this command and just write main this is your main branch so perfect it has no pushed code on github and you can see uh you'll see like we'll have this just pushed right now if you go into your versal deployment right now you see it so it is not redeploying our project so as soon as it is pushed on github it is now going to uh redeploy our project so versal is now building it automatically i am not doing anything it is just now fetching those are uh, uh like things from there and now it is just building our web uh, like project again so now uh, it is just going to deploy it it will just take a minute if there will be any errors it will be shown in here so let's just wait for that i think it is deployed without any errors uh, perfect all right it, it is deployed perfect cool so what i'll do i'll simply just refresh my project in here and then i'll see i'll just try to log out i'll just log out i'll just click on demo dmo and then I'll try to log in and perfect our dashboard has been changed our uh, changings have been made and we got a nice looking uh, easy looking like cool looking dashboard in here so yeah this was it about versal uh, about like deploying your project if you face any problems during deployment just to let me know and to start with uh, versal you don't need to buy anything any subscription um, but once you like start growing once you like start building uh, any customer projects i recommend you to buy the uh, versal so like the, the 20 dollars per month thing so that that way actually you can deploy then unlimited projects for i think on uh, by for huge number of traffic so you you will you will not need any any costly server so if we uh if we multiply the versal with uh, any other vps so i have let's suppose let me just show you some of my host stranger servers so i'll actually create a separate video for vps servers i have like uh, a lot of vps servers i where i'm host hosting all of my websites so i'll just give you like a detailed brief step-by-step -step guide how you can actually deploy your code on vps and um, that's going to be just like okay because uh, vps server uh is uh, comparatively cheaper when it comes to uh, like hosting a website uh, if you if you can like manage the hassle of deploying your website uh, if you don't need this convenience that Versal gives you so I think you can switch to VPS so if you, we can get like KVM4 server for uh, 26 
pounds a month in dollars i think it will be 31 32 dollars a month so but versus uh, only charges you are uh, 20 dollars a month when then it gives you all this convenience so versus is still cheaper when it comes to like um, uh, like hosting your project so yeah so this was it uh, about today's video if you have any other questions please just leave in the comments and uh, i will uh, see you next video bye bye